It's very casual. It's, I just call it magical. Cheryl Brock has lived in Larchmont for 32 years and doesn't like what's happening across the street at 40 Ocean Avenue. They're tearing down houses that have been here for 100 years and putting up three or four or five more. Public outcry over a developer's plan to replace the 100-year-old home with four new ones prompted the city to issue a six-month moratorium on all new residential development. But that moratorium expires on October 15th. It was to give us the time we needed to study the situation, start reviewing our zoning, and come up with some changes. The mayor and the board of trustees drafted three revisions to the zoning codes, including increasing the distance from the property line to the house, limiting the lot size, and also regulating how big a house can be compared to the lot it's sitting on. But critics say it isn't enough. We are not happy that they need to go farther than they've done and, you know, enact more legislation that is, is, is more protective of our village. Mayor Walsh says every home built in Larchmont will be held to the same zoning requirements as those already there, protecting the village as it evolves over time. What we need to make sure is that when it happens, Happens, that what gets built fits the character, doesn't overly affect the neighbors, protects the stormwater system. Those are the things that we can we can we can control. Can new development blend in with old world charm? We'll see. In Larchmont, Jessica Moore, CBS Two News. And we reached out to KOSL Building Group, which purchased the property at 40 Ocean Avenue. The president, Bobby Ben Simon, says the people of Larchmont should rest assured that the homes to be built at 40 Ocean Avenue will be of the highest quality.